everybody and welcome to this. Just went and had a lovely brunch. So I'm just gonna tell you about what happened when I went to my physical therapy yesterday because I'm still in shock of it all. Basically, they, I had a new guy who I had never had before. He hooked me up to the electro shit where it just like chuk, 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 uh, whatever on my knee. And they usually only do it for like eight minutes. They set me up on it. The dude set me up on it and then left. And I don't know what the fuck he was doing. Um, normally they check on me like two or three times during the eight minutes. And this time, like 10 minutes go by, I haven't seen anybody. 11 minutes, 12 minutes, 13 minutes, 14 minutes, 15 minutes. And I'm like going, what the fuck's happening right now? Like, he, he didn't forget me. Like, that's fucking crazy. And then, like, I felt my thigh, like, starting to, like, get tight. And I'm like, oh, my God. Am I getting a cramp? Is that going to cramp? What the fuck's happening right now? And it happened really gradual slow. And then my fucking leg cramped up like fucking crazy. And when that happened, like, I don't know if it was a reflex or what the fuck it was, but my body like jolted upwards. I'm assuming to try to knock the fucking things off my knee. And my body like tensed up when I went up and I went to reach for the things on my knee and my back seized and wouldn't let me like stretch out far enough to grab the shit off my knee. And so I'm finally like, hello, hello. <laughs> Just fucking yelling. And the guy comes in and he's like, oh shit, what, what's going on? And I'm like, I'm all fucking cramped up, dude. And he's like, oh, they have me working on somebody else at the same time, uh, sorry. And then he like pulled the things off of me and was like trying to rub out my leg and it was like fucking killing. And then like the fucking head person came in and started talking to me like I had just witnessed a murder and they were trying to make me believe their side of the story kind of thing. It was really fucking weird and then like they, the, after the whole thing was over, the dude didn't fucking help me up or anything, and my back was like fucking wrecked. It was just like this, like super fucking tight. Not fucking happy. It fucking put me into way more pain than I was in before I went. And um, I just, I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should complain. I don't know if. I, I just don't know. I have no idea what to do. And I'm going back tomorrow for another visit. And I have like four more sessions before I can go back to my surgeon. So, I don't know. The whole thing's fucking stupid. All right. So, here is the, um, I don't know, like the proof copy of Let Us Bleed um, by me and Bunny. Um, we've got to come up with a dedication, so maybe we'll do that. Um, but there's that many poems from Bunny and that many poems from me. Um, I really like the stuff that I put in here. Um, it's very recent stuff, and that might be a reason why I'm kind of super into it. Because a lot of my chapbooks are poems from months ago and all of this stuff I wrote like in the last um, couple weeks I had all these other poems I was going to put in it and um, like when I was putting it together I was like you know what I really want some new shit in here so um, so yeah, so that's it. Uh, I don't know how many poems that is actually, but it's like, I don't know, uh, 10 from Bunny and I think 10 from me. So 
that's a that's a good fucking little book. The paper um, I think was delivered today, so I got to go check the uh, Amazon lockbox thing and see what that's like. It's weird when things seem to be going right in certain aspects of your life and then others are completely fucked and I'm not saying I'm completely fucked right now but like god damn so I need to be doing a lot of formatting um, the Let Us Bleed chapbook, I sent the basic proof over to Bunny last night, and for those of you who don't know, Let Us Bleed is a split chapbook I'm doing with Bunny, and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. After the shit that happened last time I went to the physical therapist, um, I'm not thrilled about going to the physical therapist. Just, I got some news last night that wasn't great, and I don't know how to react, I guess is the best way to put it. Here, here's just me bitching. This, this, I swear to God, this vlog will probably be called me bitching. The kitchen sink was clogged. And a lot of times, the, I mean, this happens kind of a lot. And usually when it happens, it's something in the wall somewhere on one of the floors. And everyone's sink is fucked up along that line of pipe. Even though this has been an issue for like three days now, the guy was supposed to show up today at 8, and we all know how that works. He showed up at 10, which I'm actually grateful for, because I didn't really expect him until like 11. And so he fixed it, everything's fine, but the dude made a fucking huge mess. And I had to fucking clean it up because obviously he wasn't gonna fucking do it. stapler ever.
I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.